In this video, we will see what is VLOOKUP and how to use it in Excel. We will also cover what are some of the issues we usually face and some best practices when you use VLOOKUP. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, take a moment to subscribe for more updates. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It is an Excel formula usually used when you want to set for specific value in a column and return corresponding value from different column. For example, as you see here, we have some product sales data. In this data, if you want to find out what is the sales volume of lights. So that means here we are searching for the product called lights in this product column and we are looking for the corresponding sales which is in different column and returning that value. VLOOKUP formula has four parameters. The first one is what you want to look up, where you want to look for it and third one the column number in the range containing the value to return and the fourth one is nothing but whether you want to search exact match or approximate match. Let us see how we can use this VLOOKUP to find the sales volume of lights. Type V lookup tab. First one is lookup value. So here we want to look for the product sales. So I select the lookup value cell. The second one is table array. So we select this is a table array which has products and sales. This table array can have any number of columns but only caveat is that the first column should always contain the lookup value. That means we look up always try to find the lookup value in its first column of table array. In this case we are searching for lights so lights should be in this first column which is nothing but product and hit comma and the third column is nothing but index. So this is the index of the column within the selected table array that has the return value. In this case we want to return sales volume. So product is the column 1 and sales is column number 2 because this second column has sales value that we want to return. So type 2 and the fourth parameter is true or false. So when you want to set with exact match you want to use false otherwise true so hit tab and close parenthesis. So here we know the complete product name so that is the reason we gave exact match. If we do not mention any fourth parameter it takes default value as true which is nothing but approximate match. That is the one of the drawbacks of VLOOKUP. So sometimes you will see the value which you are not expecting then you should look for the fourth parameter whether you gave true or false. That is as simple as that. Here we have some wild cards that this function can accommodate. They are asterisk, question mark and tilde. If you know the exact name of the lookup value you are searching for that is fine. You may not need wild cards but sometimes usually when a table array is so huge and you don't know the exact lookup value you are searching for and you want to use some wild cards in it then you can use one of these question mark or asterisk. For example here we use lights instead of lights if I just use LIG and asterisk I still get the same result because here asterisk adds as a wild card and that replaces any number of characters. In this case asterisk replaced three characters and it showed the results where product name starts with LIG and if we use the question mark so question mark acts as single character replacement. 
when I give lig question mark, it tries to find all the product names that has four letters in it and starts with lig. In this case, we do not have any such products. So it returns NA. So if you want to get the same results, you might want to use three question marks because each question mark replaces one character. So it should give you the results you are expecting. There are often occasions where one of these wildcards, either question mark or asterisk, might be part of the lookup value you are looking. For example, in this list, I have two products. One is pumps and one is pump and question mark. If I use pump and question mark, it returned sales volume of 20,129, which is nothing but pumps sales volume. But what do you want to have sales volume of product name that has pump and question mark in it? So in that case, you just have to add tilde in front of question mark. So when you add that, Excel treats question mark as part of the lookup value, not as wildcard. Even though VLOOKUP has been the most popular formula in Excel and it has its own limitations and drawbacks. One of the limitations is that the lookup value column should always be on leftmost column in the table array. And the second limitation is when you have multiple results for the same lookup value, it always stops at the first. In this case, we have seen lights sales volume as 21,600 but if you look at closely here we also have one more entry which has thousand dollars but it didn't show up to overcome these limitations and some of the issues we are going to discuss now we can use better available functions in newer version for example xlookup xlookup is most advanced version of both vlookup and hlookup with XLOOKUP, you can simply forget VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP and you don't even have to remember when to use what. Simple XLOOKUP does everything for you. If you want to learn more about XLOOKUP, please look at my other video. The link is in the description of this video. If you look at some of the issues or some of the common problems of VLOOKUP, I would say that the fourth parameter of VLOOKUP function is most dangerous if you do not handle it correctly. Always try to use fourth option as false, which is nothing but exact match and you will less likely to see any error. And if you are planning to use approximate, then expect some unknowns here. One of the most common issue we usually see is the return value is not correct. This usually happens when you use fourth option as true, which is approximate match. It happens because the first column might not be sorted alphabetically or numerically. So always make sure to sort your table array alphabetically by first column. Sometimes you see hash reference error. It is usually happens when you give column index number more than number of columns in the table array. For example, in this array, we have three columns so when you give value more than three for example when you give four you usually see hash reference error so when you see this error make sure that you have this column index less than or equal to total number of columns in the table array another common error we see is value error it usually happens when you have column index is less than one so when you put value as zero, which is less than one, you see this value error. One more most popular error is name error. It usually happens when you have lookup value in the formula, which is not in double quotes if it is a text. As you see here, uh, when I put a lookup value as simple lights without any double quotes, because it's a text, it should be in double quotes. So that's when it threw this error. So if I put this value in double quotes, then this error will be gone. These are the most common errors you usually see in VLOOKUP. There are tips to follow when you want to write successful VLOOKUP function. One of them is to make sure you use absolute reference for your table array. For example, 
we have written this formula and when you want to apply the same formula for different product we usually simply copy and paste but in that case even though we have this socks in this table product list we are still getting any error this is because we did not use absolute reference in table array so if you look at here and go to here so it has table of this selector region but when you look at this one table has shifted one row down that is because we did not use absolute reference so to do that go to this cell and go to this particular item and you can simply add dollar signs in front of this one and so so that this will become absolute reference every time when you copy the formula this table will not get moved alternatively you can also press f4 to get absolute reference added automatically instead of typing dollar sign to each of these cells and second tip is try to sort the first column of your table array to get most accurate results and the next one do not store number or date values as text and also try to use wildcards wherever necessary and applicable to ease the usage of VLOOKUP. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you liked it and learned something out of it. If you like this video, please hit the thumb icon. Please do comment and share and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching this video.